So one of the things that we said at the beginning of this course is that when we learn to write scripts, then we can go on to do some automation. So here is our chance to see how the automation actually works in Linux, where the scripts can be scheduled and they can be recurring and they can be made to execute automatically. So the concept that makes this possible is called the cron concept. So the service is called cron D, it's a daemon that is running, which uh, makes a list of uh, scripts to run at their scheduled time uh, incessantly every day, every hour as per their original scheduled times. So there are some tools that uh, enable a task to be executed at a particular time or at a recurring time and also for the system also to maintain itself and uh, particularly one such task is to rotate the log files because the log files tend to keep on increasing in size as the system gets used so they need to be rotated uh, and uh, many of these uh, repetitive tasks are taken up by the cron system. So we need to look at some uh, directories where some of these files are located so we will go and look at uh, those files. So I encourage you to look at these uh, directories in your Linux computer so that you understand what kind of jobs are running automatically uh, every hour or every day or every week or every month. Now a job that is listed in the cron system like uh, when you are making an entry for cron tab for example, it has a particular uh, uh, sequence of fields which will help the system understand what is the frequency with which you want to run that particular task. So here in the middle I have given the command and the first field is the minute. So the fifth minute is when the job has to be run. Okay. So you can also give uh, every tenth minute by saying that you know 5 by 10. So there are ways by which you can mention every nth minute also. But here we are saying every fifth minute this particular uh, script will be executed. And which hour 2 means that at 2 am that is 2.05 is the time when this script will be executed. Exactly at 2.05 am it will be executed. The third field is about the day of the month. So if you want a job to be running on every first of month you can give 1 there. Every 10th of the month you can put a 10 there. But if you put a star it means that it will be run on every day of the month. Okay, the fourth field is telling which month. Okay, so you may have a task which will run on a particular day on a particular month also. For example, on every 4th of February, I want a particular task to be run. So I can actually also configure that way. And if you have a star, it means that every month it will be taken up. So the way we have written the first four fields is that every month, every day of the month at 2 a.m colon 0, 05 minute that's when the script has to be run. Now which days of the week also can be configured so that certain tasks you may want to do on a Sunday because the system load will be less or you may want to do it on Monday morning because that's when the week starts or Friday night because that's when the week is over. So there are different reasons when you want to run particular tasks. So 1 hyphen 5 means Monday to Friday. So weekdays. Okay, so weekdays it will be running. Again, you can put a star there so that every day of the week can be interpreted. Then the next field we have written root. It means when the script is being executed, in whose name it should be executed. So under which user name should it be executed. So this will be given by the root with any other user's name or under the root name itself. After that, everything else that follows is a command. So you can have multiple commands uh, by using the uh, command combination uh, characters that we have learnt, the double ampersand or double pipe. You can even put everything in one uh, script file and just leave it like that also. Okay. So this particular uh, line tells that uh, the every uh, day uh, on every weekday at 2.05 am a script will be run which is mkbackup.sh and that will be run if successfully the directory has been changed to slash home slash scripts slash backup which means that if there is any problem in the changing the directory then the script will not be running. Okay, so this is the way a uh, 
entry can be made to the cron tab so that the cron daemon can run the task at the respective frequencies that we have provided. Now there are also some scripts that are available which will be running automatically when the machine is starting. Okay, so at every time you boot the machine there are certain scripts that will be running automatically to basically set up the configuration for network, set up the configuration for the X window system that is coming and showing you the windows. So all kinds of things will be running and those are available in uh, slash etc slash init and a bunch of scripts in slash init etc slash init dot t. Now there are also a certain uh, scripts that will be running as per the run level we have chosen. So you know that a Linux machine though it is meant for a GUI mode operation with a multi user it can also be made to run in other modes like a single user mode for debugging and fixing some errors etc. So these modes are listed here there are seven different modes that are possible. So uh, at each of these modes the Linux system will perform certain actions and what uh, scripts it should run will also be listed in the directory slash etc slash rc and then the level of the run level mode number dot d. So run level 0 means when it is about to shut down and power off. So if there is anything that has to be done at that time those scripts will be available in rc0.d. Now when it is booted in a single user mode it will be rc1.d will contain all the scripts that will be executed. rc5.d is the default mode in which Linux is actually made use of by all of us. Okay, So most of the scripts that are running in the background when you start using the machine you can actually go there and see what are those and whenever you want to reboot the machine it is a mode 6 so those scripts will be running. So if you want certain actions to be performed automatically when the machine is shutting down or when the machine is booting or when the machine is in a multi user mode or a single user mode etc you can customize all of them by placing those scripts in the respective directories and then rest of it will be taken care by the run level execution of the Linux operating system. So we can look at an example of running a cron tab entry right now and uh, we will choose the timing in such a way that uh, after waiting one or two minutes uh, it will actually execute and we can see the output uh, ready on the screen. So I try to create a script here make mkbackup.sh so first I will uh, say starting backup automatically and I would like to write it to a log file so mk backup dot log okay and then this file I may want to store it with a name so so that I don't have to type it always. Now next what I would do is uh, run the command just for an example date command I will just run it so that the output is written and then I will say backup process completed. and then some kind of a string that tells me that we are done once. So when it runs multiple times the log file will be appended again and again. So that is something that we can use to look at whether it is running properly. So that uh, we don't have any error because the file was not there etc. Okay, so now we have got the script that is uh, kept readily. So we can uh, we can make an entry cron tab minus e so that uh, this particular uh, script can be executed. So before we do that uh, let us check the permissions. So it's actually the sh file is not having any permissions to execute so we will give that. and let us check it works or not and uh, so you see that now the size has changed so cat mk backup dot log so you see that the output has been put in okay you can see that the uh, date timestamp is matching okay so 
what we do is uh, we will go back to that file and empty it so that the file is empty and now we will actually set up a cron tab so that this particular uh, script will be executed automatically now when you are first time uh, opening the cron tab uh, for a particular user uh, it will ask which editor is your favorite because uh, later on it will open an editor where you can actually type that particular uh, cron tab entry uh, within the same editor so we are already familiar with vi editor so we will go ahead and use that so uh, two okay now there's a file that has been uh, created which is meant for the cron tab so here the uh, last line is uh, giving you some kind of a example also okay so here there is an example here okay so we what we will do is that we will actually go ahead and uh, look at the time and accordingly give the entry so time is 24 so i will say 27th minute of uh, every hour every day okay and then put a star there and this is for a user so i don't have to mention my name there okay now look at the date um, so 25 so i have given three minutes so we will wait for three minutes and then the script should have executed in which case the size should have changed so we will wait and see when does it change so let us see what's the time now 2708 and sure enough there is a entry that is done here and automatically it has been executed and let us see what was there in that so you can see that it has been executed exactly at 112700 and at 01 the entry has been made so it means that exactly when we specified the time that's when it was running so this is one way by which we can actually make a cron tab entry and have the scripts automatically run and these can be for various purposes so we have some purposes like rotating the log taking backup uh, cleaning up some temporary files or maybe alerting us by a email when something goes wrong in the system so all those analytics etc can be written as basically shell scripts and we have a system in cron where the shell script is executed at a time that we want with a frequency that we want and that's all that we need so that an automatic execution of the scripts is benefiting us for the administration of the machine or for any routine tasks so let us look at some of these routine tasks that are being done so cron tab is uh, uh, there in etc directory and you can see that there are some some scripts that are already there listed okay you can see that uh, uh, at 17th minute on every day uh, there are some things that are run with a cron dot hourly and at uh, 25th minute at uh, every sixth hour that is at 6 25 am uh, there is a code that is run that is anacron which is basically for the system administrator to run and it is running the daily parts so if there is any task in the cron dot daily when does it run it runs at 6 25 am okay and similarly at 6 47 am of uh, every uh, sunday uh, the cron dot weekly will be run and on the first of every month at 6 52 am the cron dot monthly tasks will be run so what are those tasks let us go and look at them cron dot daily so you see that there are bunch of things that are listed and one of them is log rotate okay and also for uh, package maintenance okay and uh, uh, certain uh, maintenance activities uh, that are run including the google chrome which is searching and checking for the updated version etc cron dot hourly if you see every hour there is nothing that is running okay so which means that uh, we don't have any task that is running our every hourly so there are some weekly tasks which again uh, for man page uh, uh, database updation and uh, anacron which is done by the system and monthly if you see there is again uh, only one task which is belonging to the system administrator so you can see that uh, by simply placing a script in any of these directories you then are already 
assured of it running at that particular frequency every month or every week or every day or every hour and if you wish you can also make it run at a particular uh, moment uh, in every uh, frequency that you are interested in by simply making a cron tab entry and the way to make the contract cron tab entry is to type the command cron tab minus e as a user and this file is available for you to edit and we have one task which is running at the 27th minute of every hour and then uh, you know you can add some more tasks if you wish so now time is 31 so i change it to 32 and we will see one more entry that will come up okay so 123 bytes okay so you will see that in a minute you will see that it will be updated okay so let us look at the time uh, 32 okay you can see that the file size has increased and uh, let us look at the contents of uh, this log and you see that it has been uh, written a second time exactly at 32 minute okay which means that when we edited the cron tab it ran as per the renewed configuration and uh, it has done by itself which means that uh, now we have an ability to customize uh, a timely running of uh, scripts has been like and those scripts can be doing any kind of an activity that we may have in mind a regular maintenance or even processing of data that keeps coming into our folders by some network connections or people posting it through websites and so on so i hope the automation uh, aspect is uh, quite clear and uh, please do read about the cron uh, system uh, to learn more about uh, this particular aspect of Linux operating system.